Welcome, sixth graders, to your next lesson on exponents. So, exponents are going to show us repeated multiplication. So, those of you who know how to multiply, this is going to be a really fun topic for you. Multiplication. There is no dividing in exponents. All right. And in exponents represent how many times... A number, we call that number a base. So we take our base and it is multiplied, again, repeated multiplication, by itself. So what that means, let's go down here and we'll do an example. So if I have exponential form, that means if I have a big 2 and a little 4. Okay, so the big number on the bottom is called our base. So the 2 is our base because it's the big number. And then the little number, the, the small 4 up here, is actually called the exponent. So this is what it means by exponential form. We have a base and an exponent, okay? And then in word form, so if I was going to read this out loud. I would say two, number two, to the fourth power. So when we are talking about exponents, you're going to use that word power. So we can actually go up there and write power. Okay. And then when we actually go to solve an exponent, again, we take that base and we multiply it by itself. So we're going to write the 2. So I'm going to make a 2. And I'm going to write it four times. So we take the base and we write it this many times. So 2, 2, 2, 2. All right, at four times, and then like we said last, we multiply. So I'm going to put a dot in the middle, and that is multiplication, two times two times two times two. That is expanded notation. Now the standard form over here, when we get to standard form, that is just our answer. So I'm going to write that above. Standard form is our answer. So to get the answer, some people try to go 2, 4, 6, 8. That is not how we solve exponents. So I'm going to rewrite my expanded form. Do not do this in your head. So I have 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And I'm going to solve it two digits at a time. So I'm going to put a box, just like we learned with order of operations. 2 times 2 is 4. Now this really is really important. I still have times two times two. So that needs to come down. So I am going to write times two times two. And then I'm going to do my next two numbers. So four times two is eight. And then again, I still have a times two, so I need to bring it down. So I have a times two. And then we can finally solve that last bit, which is 8 times 2, and that equals 16. So our final answer is 16. So write it in expanded notation and then multiply two numbers at a time. So let's go down below and let's do a practice. So let's say I had negative 3 to the fourth power. Okay, so notice we have a negative, so that means I need to write it in expanded form first. So I'm going to write negative 3 four times, and you can't ignore the negative, so I have negative 3. And then after that, I need to put my multiplication signs, and then I'm going to solve it two numbers at a time. So we're going to do negative 3 times negative 3. Okay, and 3 times 3 is 9, but I need to use my integer man. And I have two negatives, so he's going to be a positive 9. And then we still have two negative 3s to bring down. So I'm going to rewrite that. So times negative 3, times negative 3. And then I'm going to do the next two numbers. So negative 9 times negative 3, that is 27. 
And again, I need another integer man. So I have a positive and a negative, so negative, so that one's negative. And then I have one more times negative three to bring down. So I have times negative three. And then if I solve that, 27 times three is 81. And then I need one last integer man. So two negatives makes a positive, so positive 81. So notice I had three steps, so I had three integer mans on that problem. Okay, and then lastly down here, these are just some fun facts. Any number raised to the first power, okay, the first power, so that means our exponent is 1, so like 10 to the 1, that means we write the 10 one time, so our answer is 10. Pretty self-explanatory. If I have a 7 to the first power, I write 1, 7. So it's just itself, okay? Any number raised to the zero power. This one's interesting, the zero power. So if my exponent is a zero, so let's say I had 10 to the zero power, that is gonna equal one, okay? If I had seven to the zero power, it would equal one. So anything with a zero power is a one. And then lastly, if we have a number raised to the second power, we don't really say that in math. We would say that is squared because a square is a two-dimensional shape. So if I had, say, this written down, I wouldn't say four to the second power. I would say four squared. And then on this side, we have a three as an exponent. That is called cubed because a cube is a three-dimensional shape. So if I had a four with a three, I wouldn't say four to the third power, I would say four cubed. So just remember, exponents are repeated multiplication.